Item number, SCP-822, Object Class, Euclid. Special Containment Procedures. Specimens of SCP-822 are contained in an isolation chamber at Biological Containment Site 103. Personnel may not approach within five meters of the chamber at any time. Watering and soil conditioning are to be done via automated systems and any maintenance work must be done remotely with robotic assistance. Description SCP-822 is a species of cactus, similar in appearance to Lophophora williamsi, peyote, but with significant differences, as the plant reaches maturity within a period of approximately 30 days. As SCP-822 nears maturity, a large gas sac forms within the center of the plant, as it reaches its typical maximum dimensions of approximately 10 centimeters in height and 25 centimeters in diameter. This sac is filled with volatile gases, including and several substances unique to SCP-822. At the same time, the skin of SCP-822 hardens until it reaches a point not unlike sheet metal and seeds begin to form just under the skin. Once the plant is fully mature, it flowers and begins extruding a pheromone that serves to attract mammals of sufficient mass to trigger its anomalous property. Through an unknown mechanism, whenever any living creature of sufficient mass, approximately 10 to 20 kilograms, approaches within 3 meters of SCP-822, the central portion containing the gas sac violently detonates, causing shrapnel-like shards of SCP-822 skin to fly through the air. These fragments are capable of embedding themselves into the skin and flesh of any living creatures nearby, which carry the seeds of SCP-822 away. Living creatures struck by these fragments that do not die from physical trauma eventually succumb to a potent neurotoxin synthesized by the fragments within three to six hours. SCP-822 was first discovered at a military proving ground near SCP-822 was reported to the Foundation after three personnel were killed when they drove a vehicle near a large patch of SCP-822 and a fourth managed to return to the base before expiring. Subsequent investigation of the infested area turned up hundreds of specimens of SCP-822, as well as the corpses of dozens of animals that had wandered into the area and been killed, some of which had SCP-822 growing directly from their bodies. After sample specimens were collected, the entire area was subjected to firebombing, incinerating all remaining SCP-822 in the area. Experiment Log 822-1 Record of experimentation performed to determine limits of triggering mechanism for SCP-822. Date Subject D-9912 Procedure Subject equipped with a military-grade bomb suit and instructed to approach SCP-822. Results SCP-822 detonates as subject approaches within precisely three meters of specimen. Shock sensors record blast as equivalent to the detonation of a landmine. Subject suffers injuries consistent with being in close proximity to high explosives detonation, such as ruptured eardrums. Date Subject Robotic Rover Approximately 20 kilograms in mass. Procedure. Manipulation of specimen of SCP-822 using rover attempted. Results. Subject successfully approaches SCP-822 and successfully uproots SCP-822 specimen. However, specimen is dropped while moving away, causing specimen to detonate. Rover badly damaged. Date. Subject D-9989 Procedure 
subject is restrained completely as to prevent any movement. Specimen of SCP-822 is moved towards subject via robotic rover. Results SCP-822 specimen detonates when brought within 3 meters of subject. Subject survives initial detonation, but succumbs to neurotoxin. Date Subject D-9989 Deceased Procedure Specimen of SCP-822 moved towards dead body of subject. Results SCP-822 does not detonate, even when placed directly on body of subject. Date Subject 10021 Procedure Specimen of SCP-822 placed against wall of isolation chamber, designed to completely absorb all sound, vibration, and temperature fluctuation. Subject instructed to move towards SCP-822 while separated by wall of isolation chamber. Results SCP-822 detonates when subject approaches within 3 meters of specimen. Minimal damage to isolation chamber. No harm to subject. Apparently, SCP-822 is capable of detecting living creatures within its trigger radius, despite not being able to see the target, detect its sounds, or feel any shifts in temperature. More experimentation needs to be done to determine how it does this. Dr. Lesson complete. If you missed the previous orientation, go watch SCP-821, Dixie Funland, right now. Or for the complete course, watch this playlist.